Greetings guys, um, it's Irish, uh, this, I wasn't gonna do, uh, I was just gonna tell you guys what my, uh, Gen 2 experience has been like, um, and some stuff, so, instead of just, you know, staring at a blank screen, uh, I thought I would show my face for once, so, uh, this is me, <laughs> uh, but, uh, on Saturday, uh, two days ago, I broke my Gen 2. So what I was, I, you know, I was on it for three weeks, you know, and I was getting very comfortable, so I decided to try to create my own kernel. Uh, uh, you know, all the steps were, you know, laid out in the handbook and decided to, uh, you know, do my own kernel. And when I did the grub mkconfig o boot grub grub cfg, it showed my kernel there, the kernels. But when I tried to reboot, they decided uh, I was just it only showed the Gen kernel that I've been using for the last three weeks. So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So I kept playing it and playing it. You know, I tried naming it differently to the dash Irish. It still would show up, but every time I read boot, I either get kernel panic or uh, or just go into the gen kernel every time I went to the uh, kernel if it kernel panicked I had to take the installation medium and mount my root partition and fix it that way so long story short it was my F stab uh, a couple of guys Dosh Gregor Kira and uh, very much help from Riper from the LDC. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm getting over a cold. Um, he SSH'd into my system, and it does, it looked like my F stab. I usually do two partitions. One for my root and the second one for my home partition. From what my F stab said, my root partition was my boot partition and my home partition was the root. So what I, whenever I was doing the uh, MK config, it was putting all the kernels into a different spot. So I was actually having two different boot uh, slash boot partitions so it was all jacked up so he tinkered with it for a good probably half hour 20 minutes and I could finally boot into my uh, system however I couldn't get anything to work uh, my mouse was frozen uh, I couldn't open up a terminal you know I got everything that you see here um, you know, I could see the time going by and everything. But for whatever reason, I couldn't get it, you know, up. So I went back into the installation medium and I redid the gen kernel all. So it would recompile the gen kernel. I would boot into that and get the same thing. I did have evdev, I did have keyboard and mouse and synaptic in my make.com file. But for whatever reason, I just could not get it to work. So I was going to try to try to turn calculate Linux, which is recommended by Das Gregor, uh, and try to turn that into a vanilla arch, but even that actually messed up my system cuz I was dual booting Arch or uh, Windows 10 for some games and for work stuff and my Gen 2. Got rid it got rid of all my uh, Windows 10 stuff, so that partition is completely gone. Uh, so yeah, I've been having a lot of uh, a lot of uh, computer issues, and last night I was trying to reinstall Gen 2, even though I said. I was probably going to go back to Arch. I was getting, uh, I was to the point where I was doing the deep 
update and on a certain package the CPIO it uh, was you know hanging on one of the security checks so I stopped that and reissued it and it would still do that so then I would skip the first package and then the second package the lib BSD I believe it was that would fail so needless to say I installed Arch Linux back onto the computer um, temporarily I am gonna put Gen 2 back on there but uh, I decided not to do it f just yet. I'm going to take my Security Plus certificate, which I said in the previous video, but if none of you guys know what that is, it's a test by CompTIA. And it's pretty much, uh, I'm very interested in the security aspect, so it's just a, it's globally trusted, uh, and it just says that this person has the basic knowledge of IT security how to set up uh, demilitarized zones so you could put like your mail server or whatever in a spot where it won't get hacked uh, how to set up um, certificates uh, different terms different attacks how to reboot or how to troubleshoot all that stuff uh, all that so I decided to do that and I'm going to be taking the test at the end of next month so I won't be installing Gen 2 until after this test I'm gonna solely concentrate on getting my security plus because I am trying to get an IT position I work for a bank right now um, and I'm trying to get an IT position so <clears throat> Uh, I probably won't be making many videos in that time since again I'm going to try to concentrate and pass this one so um, just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I probably won't be making many videos uh, and if I decided to you know make any of these ramble videos or express some of my uh, beliefs in the Linux world or whatever I'm going to you know show my face for that because you know no one wants to see a a background and just a voiceover it gets pretty boring so uh, again I'm gonna try to get a my Raspberry Pi put arch on there I can show you guys uh, how to do it but with this whole Gen 2 thing, my confidence in the Linux uh, world has, you know, been shattered and everything that I'm just not conf confident in a lot uh, to show you guys what to do. Um, if I come across uh, any unique window managers, I might show that off. That That's pretty simple. I can, you know, explain how to what it is, what it feels like, do like a first impressions uh, video like how Das Gregor does with some of his uh, distro reviews. So, but I just wanted to let, again let you guys know what's been going on since the last video that I made. Uh, I do still plan to make the Linux bytes. Most likely the videos will be just that until I get my Security Plus. Uh, certification and I will update you guys on if I pass it or not so uh, I will see you guys in the next video